Hello, this is HT Wing Nut. Um, I'm sitting here with my Clevo W230ST, and I thought I'd give a, a quick uh, tutorial on how to set up RAID on this uh, machine. Um, RAID isn't for everybody, but uh, those of you that want to do it, this has three uh, uh, drive slots, two M SATAs, and a single two and a half inch uh, um, um, SSD slash hard drive uh, slot as well. Um, but uh, before we even get started with that, just to show you the uh, drive options, there's three screws to access it. You flip it over, get to the bottom panel, remove three screws, one, two, three, Alright, and then there's a little kerdunk here. Kind of get your finger in. I wish I had better light in here, but sorry about that. Um, flips it up and then it just kind of pivots up out of the way. Now you've got uh, three uh, M or two M SATA slots. One is right here, another one is right here, and you've got your primary two and a half inch drive bay. Um, the other thing is, remember, remove your battery. First and foremost. Remove your battery before you start fussing with the insides here. Um, but uh, to remove the hard drive, pretty straightforward. Just uh, it's got this little flap on it. Pull it, and bam! A nice little bracket here. Um, just basically a piece of plastic with this foam, I think, to push up against the uh, back of the panel. Um, now to install, obviously a new one is pretty straightforward. Uh, I probably should use the bracket, but uh, let me go ahead and do that. To remove the bracket, it's pretty straightforward. There's just two screws. One, two, and then just voila. Now I'll put that on the uh, 960 gig uh, Crucial M500. Um, if I should turn it the other way. Right. Uh, there we go. Okay, get the screws back in. And this is a uh, 7 mil thick drive, so um, you need a spacer. Um, this drive came with a spacer. Let's just throw it in there, pop this in here, slide it in place. Um, this foam should stand off to the bottom of the panel. So it uh, stays in place. Then to do the uh, M SATAs, it's pretty straightforward. Just remove these screws. Bam. And then this screw. Bam. Take a drive, pop it in place. Take a screw. Grab another drive. Push it in. Grab another screw. And that took all of what 60 seconds to get that in. Now um, let's put this back on, just pivot it back in place. Like that. You can put your three screws back. For now, I'm not going to because I'll probably be getting back in here again soon. Pop your battery back in. Flip it over. And then I'll we'll plug this puppy in. Okay, I thought I'd interject real quick to uh, show you how to get those RAID drivers on your flash drive. Pretty straightforward, but I uh, thought I'd show you anyways. Um, take your uh, driver's DVD. Um, this is Windows 8. Um, I'm using a NP9150 Sager and uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug that DVD in and let it go ahead and auto start. In the meantime, I'll also put in my, um, oh, there it is. Go ahead and open the folder. And uh, under options, you see drivers, it's under drivers, it's under options. And then it's under RAID. You can see right there. And then you see F6 floppy X64. For 64 bit, you'll use the uh, X64. For 32 bit, you'll use the X86. Most people probably use 64 bit by now, so just go ahead and click that, right click and copy, or however you want to copy it. And then uh, I'll go ahead and plug in my flash drive with Windows 8 on it. It doesn't have to be the Windows 8 flash drive, but it's just easier to have deal with one. Um, go ahead and open that up and just paste it right there in the main uh, and that's all you need to do and then when you go to install Windows 8 um, it'll be on your uh, flash drive for you open her up okay now uh, we'll go into the BIOS and uh, so we'll turn on the uh, laptop start mashing on the F2 key so that you can actually get into the BIOS because it can just flash by without you even noticing and not give you a chance to get into the BIOS there we go why is it so blurry there we go so here we are in the BIOS in order to set up your uh, RAID array you're going to want to go to advanced uh, SATA mode and go down to RAID Enter. Okay, that's right. It'll prevent you from, it'll delete all the data on those drives that you're rating. So, um, and go to, oops, no, then I believe you have to, uh, exit, reset. F mash down on F2 again. Go back in the BIOS. And now you should be able to go to uh, until rapid storage technology menu comes up. Right there, hit enter. Um, then you can create a RAID volume. Now you get different RAID levels. RAID 0 stripe, RAID 1 mirror, and recovery. I'm not sure what recovery is yet, but uh, I'll take a look at that. But RAID 0 is for uh, improved uh, speed. RAID 1 is basically duplicates the data, um, but we'll do a RAID 0 stripe and then go down to the disks and put a space uh, to put an X next to the drives that you want to RAID. I'm going to do the 228 gig set of drives and then your stripe size, I guess it's that's debatable. Some people think smaller is better, some things larger is better. I'm going to go with 64 KB stripe. Um, tells you your capacity now and then go ahead and click on create volume. Bam, there's your volume. Volume 1, RAID 0 stripe, 238.5 gigs, normal. And then there's the non-RAID, which is the 960 gig uh, crucial. You can see data here on that. Um, go back now, escape, and exit. Before you do that, though, you might want to put in your uh, Windows 8 um, or 7, whatever you decide, uh, flash drive. Um, I'm, before you do that though, you're going to want to install um, drivers for the RAID that come on the uh, CD. We're going to go ahead and save changes and reset here. And then it should automatically detect the flash drive, but we'll see here. Otherwise I believe F7 is the one to choose your boot priority. Okay, after hitting F7 it comes up with uh, menu and choose what you want to do. Um, you may just be able to try to reboot first and not even have to press F7 but um, UEFI OCZ, I've got an OCZ flash drive and
There she goes. Alright, now we're at Windows 8 setup. Um, your uh, Windows may ask you to um, plug in your uh, code or not. Uh, this one I don't have to. Um, go ahead and next install now. I mean your key code for the OS, depending on your version. If you accept the terms, click accept, next, install advanced. Now this is where you're going to want to load your drivers because it can't see the uh, um, RAID array. So go ahead and click load drivers and then click browse. Go to your uh, flash drive, which is removable disk, and there's the F6 floppy x64 folder I was talking about. Click it, click OK, and there's the uh, found the uh, controller. Oops, hold on a second. Zoom's getting away from me. There we go. And we'll go ahead and go next, and it will find the drives, hopefully. And there we go. We've got the eight, uh, 960 gig drive and the 240 gig um, array. Uh, go to drive options. Everything seems to be good. Um, we'll go ahead and click the drive one on allocated space. Windows is none the more aware that this is actually a RAID volume because it's uh, defined by the BIOS that it's a single drive but in a RAID. So we'll go ahead and select it. Next. and away it goes and no installation should go as normal now with RAID um, I believe you need to match up drivers with your OROM uh, and uh, to make sure trim is enabled but I'll touch on that a little bit more once you've got Windows uh, installed um, you're going to also want to make sure you install the Intel Rapid Storage Technology Drivers or RST um, this way you can ensure your trim is working properly um, the way I understand it is if you go to uh, Intel Rapid Storage Technology. I usually just go to the little icon in the corner there and uh, go ahead and go to uh, help. Before we do that you can see I've got uh, the RAID volume. It even tells me RAID 0. There's my other drive. But you can go up to uh, help and then go to system report and you can look under Intel Rapid Storage Technology you see the RAID option ROM version, that's the OROM, that's 12.5, and the driver version is also 12.5. My understanding is as long as those values match up as far as your driver and your OROM version, uh, with those digits, um, uh, trim should work with your um, RAID partition or your RAID setup. So um, just a way to double check and um, just to make sure that uh, you, want, you don't want later wonder why you're losing performance with your RAID volume uh, because of lack of trim. So I uh, hope that helps.